It's Monday, June something or other, and it's way too early for this. Making a left turn on 30 is almost as fun as making a left turn on 42. Hi! It's 10.30 and I'm in a much better mood now. I'm breaking the law. I'm breaking the law. Uh, my supposedly four-part video last time lost a part, and the reason why it lost a part is because I looked at the part three that I had recorded and realized that I didn't quite expand upon it as much as I thought I had. So this video comes in one part, and it's part three. If that makes any sense at all. Recently, this past year, I've become more interested in reading young adult fiction. With the reading of John Green's novels, I discovered that there's this whole literary world of young adult fiction out there. We always refer to it as a genre, like fantasy or science fiction or historical fiction. But in actuality, it's much bigger than a genre. Because if you look at young adult fiction as a whole, you will see that all of those genres exist within young adult fiction. There are young adult fantasy novels, there are young adult science fiction novels, there are young adult historical novels. The main difference being, of course, that young adult fiction novels are aimed for a younger audience. I am planning on making a career out of teaching this very age group that the young adult fiction is generally aimed for. And I've come to realize in the course of training for this uh, eventual career, that adolescent years, those years when you're not quite a child but not quite an adult, those years, those years are really, really interesting to study. Adolescence is about finding yourself, your identity, your, um, your passion, what you're going to do for the rest of your life. It's all about finding all of those things. And there is a truck that is doing some construction. And now, are you going to wait for me or not? Okay, what are, you, what are we doing? Okay, he's waiting for me. Anyway, what was I talking about? The thing about young adult literature is that because of the age group, both the age group that it's an audience for and the age group that it portrays, for both of these reasons, young adult literature has an awful lot of emotion packed into the pages. I think that's partly why the stories are so good, too, is because there's more emotion there. There's more passion there. There's more of a sense of... Tri of um, of conflict, of being lost and trying to find yourself. We are told that literature exists for one of three reasons. To entertain us, to educate us, or to persuade us. Young adult fiction very often does all three. We're entertained simply by virtue of it being fiction. We are educated because we start to learn that Adolescents go through much the same process when they're trying to find their identity, no matter what situation they're in. Whether it be historical, whether it be futuristic, whether it be magical. And it persuades us because whoever the protagonist is, if they're trying to find their identity, they are usually taking on a point of view on some issue involving some conflict. Biggest discovery I've made about young adult fiction? In a lot of ways, it's really not that much different from adult fiction. Sometimes the stories are a little better. And with that, I'm out. See ya.